It's the 16th of September. I'm Jerusha Sukhvi Arath, and you're watching News 24 Live. At least three people have been shot dead and three injured in a shootout at the Brook Street taxi rank behind the old railway station in Durban. Netcare 911 spokesperson Chris Butter said police are investigating the shooting. The three injured people were hospitalized. A News 24 report is on the scene and more information is likely to emerge. Two men were killed when an intercape bus was petrol bombed in Strand, Cape Town last night. Four people are in a critical condition and several other passengers sustained minor burn wounds in the attack. The attack took place just after 7.30pm and the motive for the attack on Onervacht Street just off the N2 highway is not yet clear. Acting Cape Town Executive Mayor Brett Heron has condemned the attack. And finally, President Jacob Zuma said Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir could return to South Africa this year for a talk shop. Sudan was a member of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, which South Africa would host in December. Zuma told reporters this information in Pretoria. He said government was studying the International Criminal Court's order issued on September 4th. The court gave South Africa until October 5th to explain its failure to arrest Bashir when he was in Johannesburg for an AU summit in June. On Monday, June 15th, the High Court in Pretoria ordered government to arrest Bashir and said its failure to do so was unconstitutional. Despite this, Bashir was allowed to leave the country. More on News 24 Live.